The MS Turinor Planet Solar is the world's largest solar-powered boat and the first boat to circumnavigate the globe exclusively using solar power. This summer, it's been sailing along the Gulf Stream on a scientific expedition to collect data on how climate change is affecting ocean currents and marine biology. Environmental changes in the Gulf Stream could have dramatic weather consequences for the UK and Europe, as lead scientist Professor Martin Beniston explains. Any uh, disruption to the Gulf Stream because of climate change, for example, uh, could actually um, lead to uh, wide-scale impacts. Uh, uh, imagine that London would suddenly have the climate of Montreal, for example, in winter, uh, with uh, you know, sub-zero temperatures for several months on end. We estimate that currently oceans absorb about half the carbon that is in the atmosphere uh, emitted by uh, human activities. So the uh, role of uh, marine microorganisms that we call phytoplankton are one of the keys to uh, future climate change. All this energy that we catch with the solar panels go into some batteries. And from this, uh, it goes to electric motors, which I uh, pilot here, you know. It's very simple, one motor each side and the uh, head, a stern. This allows us to go to a speed of roughly eight or nine knots. The batteries allow us to sail for 72 hours without any sun. One of the reasons what we were particularly interested in this boat is that since it's a solar-powered ship with no emissions of uh, uh, you know, bunker fuel uh, combustion, uh, we know that what we're measuring is of natural origin and not biased by what would come out of the uh, chimney of a normal boat. The first uh, feeling is very strange because you can imagine you are here, you want to start, you put full head, now it's shut, and uh, you don't hear any noise, you don't feel any vibrations, you go. However, despite the boat's scientific advances, the captain does not believe it represents the future of shipping. It went all around the world, 100 tons, all around the world, only with solar energy, which is a great achievement. Of course, you would not fit some solar panels on a container ship. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, this boat has to be considered as an ambassador of solar energy. Mm -hmm.